Well, we've all been there when we've lost our ties or anything to hold our bedrolls together or if we need to hold any uh, sticks together or anything like that. So I'm just going to show you a simple method, just using the power cord. Uh, so we've got our bedroll or ground mat. We're just going to find the middle point of our power cord and then feed it underneath. So we've got the two ends and our loop. We are then going to twist either side to form this figure. And then we're going to fold that over and that creates a lark's head. We then take one from each side, it doesn't matter which, and feed it through the lark's head knot. We're then going to cinch down and that will hold our bundle together. It's a simple little figure and all we need to do to release it is just pull the centre and it'll come apart. Right, so this is uh, another method of uh, securing things and it's this one's really particularly nice because you can also use it to secure your tarp and um, you can hang your bag off trees with it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just start with the stick and I've needed this end already but I got interrupted by a phone call so uh, that's the way it goes. So I'll just show this again. So I've got a folding knife here and I'm not going to be pushing on the back of that blade because that would be bad form. So I'm pushing on the body with my thumb just for safety. I'm just working away from myself just neatening up this end. So once we have that, I'm just going to wipe off my blade there, pull my blade away. I'm then going to use the awl from my knife and I'm just going to drill a small hole through the stick. Now this might take some time. Nearly through. the other side. This is not the neatest job I've ever done, but it'll do the job. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to tidy up that hole with my knife. Just around it here. So you can see the hole. Okay, so that's that's our hole there. Now we can clean that out a little more later if we want. Um, quite often I use dry wood for this. All I'm going to do now is just saw the end off here. Okay, so about 30 seconds later we have this. Now I've tidied up the end, cut it off. And we just have a hole through the middle. And what we're going to do, just thread the power cord through, or any other cordage. Hello. And we're just going to take that through, and we're just going to tie a loop in the end. Now you could use a bowline, or any particular loop you like. I'm just going to uh, take this and just use a pretty regular overhand loop. So, just something really straightforward, something that will just stop, and that's it. That's all we've got at that end, and we just went a knot at the other end to stop this cord from sliding off. Uh, so, again, just simple knot. 
to stop it sliding off. So now we have the string with the toggle. For this, what we're going to do is going to have the loop, bring that under, and the secret here is to have this cord go back on itself. So you put it through the loop, you can cinch down on this, so it's nice and tight, and then that will hold. Now to lock it off, you can actually just wrap it around a couple of times and then it won't go anywhere. And that's your bundle.